Good morning and happy Saturday. We are at Universal Orlando for Harry Potter celebration or a celebration of Harry Potter. What, how, what is it called? We're gonna celebrate celebration of Harry the Potter. Harry celebrate. Potter. We're gonna celebrate Harry Potter today. So that's what we're here for. And check out who's in the back. I'm still Ooh. here. <laughs> Kaylee's here. We actually asked yesterday, or we told you guys like 10 times, Kaylee's here. Did you guys know that Kaylee's here? Did I'm you guys here. know that Kaylee's hey, here? Hey, I'm here, guys. She's still here. I'm so here. <laughs> we're going in to uh, Universal to check out the expo, but I wanted to show you what you can look forward to traffic-wise. So check it out. We are two lanes going into the parking garage right now, but we've never like crawled from this area into the parking garage, so this is really weird for us. So this is maybe during I think Horror Nights. We've been in lane for what, like 15 minutes? We're all merging into one lane, so that's what the problem was. Now we know we're merging into one lane. I knew that they were gonna take us up to the roof. We got here pretty late, so we're not surprisingly on the roof right now, and it is pretty jam packed. I'm not looking forward to the security back check line. Can we talk about how ridiculous it was that they merged us into one line and then put us into two lines again? They got a nice little for everyone's safety sign, just so you guys know. All of this stuff will happen. Looks like we're dropping down to one less. Oh, they're taking away three of them because they've they've dropped it down. But yeah, here's the metal detectors. No, okay. There we go. So just as like an FYI, yeah, everything we do have to go through metal detectors. It took us maybe like three minutes to get through the metal detectors. Not bad. There seems to be a new like stand out in front of uh, NBC Sports Grill Brew. Let's see what they're selling. Maybe it's just movable because that's the NBC Sports Grill Brew merchandise. Looks pretty darn busy down there. We've got our patient pants on today, so we'll be A-OK. -okay. We just know that there's gonna be a lot of people around. So it might be a little bit difficult to move around inside of Universal today, but it's a hot set, hot set. The good news is we've been in much longer lines than this before for Horror Nights. So this isn't too bad. I love all the cosplay that people do. Like his, his outfit's amazing. Right here. Oh, that is awesome. A little bit of a look at the I Love Lucy store, which will be Hello Kitty. They're doing a lot of work out front. Looking good too. So doing some, uh, some painting. Pretty funny because the park is full today. Like there's a lot of people here, but Despicable Me still only 55 minutes. Remember when we were seeing it, that it was like super long 90 minute waits and stuff like that? Let's see here. Simpsons is 75 minutes. 75 minutes for what? Simpsons. That's insane. Let's see the next one here. Should give us some times for, uh, ET, ET 30, 30 minutes. minutes. I love it. Wow. One more and we'll see the times for the Harry Potter stuff, hopefully. Harry Potter Expo, 180 minutes. I don't think that that's correct, but we'll go see. A lot of people ask me, they say, Tim, what's the weather like on this day? And I'm like, I don't know because Yesterday or the day before it was like down in the 30s today. It's up in the 70s It's all over the place here in Florida. We're headed to the expo entrance right now But I wanted to show you guys look you can see all the way through twister building right there Those little yellow supports inside that you see are rip ride rocket supports There's a bunch of people waiting out here for the next event that happens here at the music stage Which I would have to look and see at 245. You're going to learn to battle like a derm stang Strang, whatever it is. So all these people are like waiting for that sort of demonstration. And then after that at 4.15, we have a behind the scenes with Harry Potter film talent Q&A. Wow, look at Twister. How intense is that? You can see all the way through it. Wow. We've already got like tents and stuff set up for Mardi Gras. This is, look at this. How awesome does that look? All right, let's see what we can see inside of there. Yeah, there you go. That's a lot of fun stuff. I think we're going to get in line. They're telling everybody that this is like a 200 minute wait. Doesn't look too long though, because it's just here to there. So it can't be too long. So I'm gonna try to give you guys some reference points here. Like here's the Rip Ride Rocket. Here's this little subway thing. This is the Macy's. So when we were at Horror Nights, that big flaming gazebo was right out there. And then if you turn here, we've got this new giant piece of facade that wasn't here like last week that they just installed. Can't wait to see what it turns out to be. All right, let's see, it's 2.41 now, and we just got in line, so we'll see how long it takes us to get inside. This guy right here has these little paper ties that he's given out to everybody if they want them. Got my tie, did you guys ever guess? Oh no, 
This guy's talking, but only thing that's coming out of his mouth is the the sound that Dementors make when they show up. The Rip Ride Rocket just shaking around there. Wait, wait until the next train comes up. Here it comes. It hits the brakes. Track just starts shaking. Now they go down. Shaking. Man. Oh yeah, that pole right there. Look at that. Dang. They're showing the Baltimore death scene right now on the big screen and like everybody's mesmerized. We're almost there. Like that's, we just gotta go to the front of this line and then pop in there. There's a sorting hat here. Yes. Yeah. Right now. You're clearly a Gryffindor! Yay. And we're going into the expo, the Harry Potter expo. There is a phoenix here. Lots of fun stuff. A lot of like Harry Potter merchandise. Oh, it's big. We got like some Harry Potter action figures. Lots of like little toys and books and stuff like that. A 3D puzzle. A giant Lego version of Hogwarts. These are pretty awesome. These are Star Ace Toys Limited in Japan. Makes these one six scale collectible action figures. 3D puzzle of Hogwarts. This is my favorite. This is stuff from the Wizarding World Japan. That is from Universal Studios Japan. This hat is amazing. They really jammed people in here, didn't they? Here's the muggle wall where you're allowed to sign and say how Harry Potter has affected you, and then they're giving away like free posters right here. That's why there's a bunch of people right here. I made it out into the open. Now there's a little bit more room here. You can take pictures like you're in the Quidditch stuff. It's a Fantastic Beast thing. Pretty cool. There's a whole section here for the Warner Brothers Studio Tour where you can go in and do like a little mini walkthrough of the studio. Then there's a giant interactive map where you download an app and then you hold it up and you can see all kinds of stuff going on. But it like recognizes each of the different schools depending on where they are because each of these little red areas is a uh, wizarding school in the different parts of the country or the different parts of the world. Uh, continue? I don't know if that... Yeah, so we want teachers. Okay. Okay. All right. This is... Oh yeah, see now you, now you stay up here. Okay. We're going to see... Oh look. It found something for us. It found Ivermorny. That's pretty neat. A little display here for the play that's opening in England. And then we've got the Mina Lima booth where Mina Lima is the uh, people that did all the graphic art for the Harry Potter films. She's dressed up like a golden snitch. This is Mina Lima. They are the people that did it and they are signing posters and stuff like that right now. That's what this huge long line is for. Right here, it goes all the way back to the back. We're just gonna go up here and just kind of check out their booth so you can see some of the stuff that Mina Lima did for the movies. They, anything that was paper in the movies, they did. Like the chocolate frogs and stuff like that. Just the cases for the chocolate frogs. Any of the Daily Prophets. Any sort of magazines or maps or anything like that. Any labels for any of the uh, potions, stuff like that. They did it all. Any books. So you can kind of see some of the stuff that they've done, all these different Daily Prophets and stuff. And then the uh, Marauder's Map they did too. Pretty neat. Like here's some more of the stuff that they've done. This is all framed and everything. I would totally hang some of this stuff up in my house. Especially this one. This is amazing. This is what it looked like for Harry Potter when he was in the middle of that big tornado of uh, Hogwarts invitations. So we may have got here a little bit too late. So the making of Harry Potter Warner Brothers Studio Tour has been shut down. The line has been stopped because they need to have everybody through by 4.30. So we can't go inside. And there was a Death Eater taking pictures in there and we didn't get to go in there. Oh, and that makes sense because here's the line to get into the studio tour, kind of all through there and then finally back into here. We're totally waiting in line right now to take a Quidditch photo. It looks pretty fun. The, the golden snitch is missing. I think that's the one that we get to hold. It's pretty fun. That's awesome. Look at this snitch that she's got. <laughs> We're gonna take a photo with it. Look at this crazy film crew coming through right here. With their big old cameras and their audio equipment and everything. That's pretty neat. Lots of stuff for purchase in the store. Wow. Here's the design and this is what's on all the shirts and everything. This is just a keychain. Pretty cool. And this is $13. So right now they're doing the cast Q&A over on the main stage and they're broadcasting it here. Last time we were here, the statue of Lou Wasserman was gone and it's there again. 
All right, so the construction, the beat builders are out and about. Let's see, let's have a look at them. Let's try to look busy, come on. All right, all right. Sounds good. Yeah. Build my own beat up here. I got some wire. Yeah. I got some wood. Uh -huh. Sounds awesome. Check it out. Okay, so that's where Beetlejuice hey, used to be. All safe Holy all cow. Here. You can see clear through to King's Cross in the background right there. How crazy is that? You just like, I did not realize disaster was so big. Like I know that we would see it when we would go back to the Horror Nights houses yeah. back there, but it is so big. There it is. And look, there's the Hogwarts Express going by right there. I saw pictures of this online, but I couldn't figure out why this building had a scrim around it because it shouldn't be affected by Fast and Furious, but I guess it does. I guess it is. The storage box here is totally new. I don't know why it's here. It doesn't look like we can see any sort of demolition at the disaster, the front end of disaster. But you can definitely see through this archway that there's some like free open space back there. That's about all you can see through that little arch there. Just some temporary railings and stuff like that up that you can see. Wow. Pretty darn crowded back here in London heading into uh, Diagon Alley because of Harry Potter celebration. I like seeing everybody in costumes and in cosplay and everything, but I do think it's pretty funny that this guy has a camera but he's dressed up like a wizard. There's some walls up around. I think this thing's called the Thirst Oasis. It's like a little Coke thing with a little alien guy in it. Uh, I don't know what they're doing to it. Maybe just a refurb or getting rid of it altogether. We'll find out, I guess, once the walls come down. There used to be a couch gag photo op here and now it's been replaced with catch a fish and ball toss. Like more carnival games. So he swung by Moe's at Springfield Fast Food Boulevard to get some food. I got chicken and waffles, which is fantastic. And I got extra maple mayonnaise here to dip my tots in. Jen looks like she got some like chicken tenders. Uh, Kaylee got some chicken tenders. Rolly got the frog, the crusty burger. And then we got just the, uh, a duff dry. Because they were all out of regular duff. But this is better. This is like a dark, uh, stout, 
It only comes in bottle, but you can't keep the bottle because it's glass. No glass in the parks. Mr. Spokesman is going to test his love right now with the love tester. We're testing our love. Let's see. Fun. I'm going to rank it low with this cold fish. Are you ready? Fun fact, this is actually Grandpa Simpson reincarnated. Let's see how he does. Where are we at? Oh, it's not making any noise. Ooh, Casanova. Oh, yeah. All right. Casanova. That away. Right, I, can, I can vibe with that. I can vibe with that. All right, Sam. Okay, let's see Good how turn. I do. Oh, I'm speaking. Uh, yes, I'm looking for I feel like we should add in sound effects. Like, da, 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 there should be sound effects right here. Hot tamale. Hot tamale. That's pretty hard. That's what I'm talking about. Listening to some like Billy Joel. What is this? Don't go breaking my heart. This isn't Billy Joel. But we're taking in the beautiful sunset. Look at that. So we're into Diagon Alley now, and I wanted to show you guys Sugar Plums here. Sugar Plums just opened. This used to be the photo place, but now this is Sugar Plums. And we can go inside and we can get um, Butterbeer Fudge, I think? No, Butterbeer Fudge is over at this one over here. Let's, let's just have a look and see what they've got in here. All kinds of fun candies. Yes. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, let's see. Okay, oh yeah, there is butterbeer fudge. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to show you guys what all was in here. These look amazing. A pretzel wand. I don't even know if you guys can read what's going on. Butterbeer fudge? No, thank you though. I don't think so. Butterbeer fudge. No melt ice cream. Looks delicious. Yes. I'll tell you what, exploding bonbon sounds amazing. So this used to be like the photo place where you could get your moving photos. Now it's just uh, sugar plums. Harry Potter weekend crowds in Diagon Alley. It looks crazy in here. So, uh, Madam Malkins used to have an extended queue right next to it, and now that is shutter buttons, which is what used to be where sugar plums is now. And this was a wise choice because there are a lot more people inside of shutter buttons than I've ever seen inside of shutter buttons before. Let's have a peek see. Oh yeah, look at that. Quite a few people. Oh look at all this theming up here. It's fantastic. I like these owls. The girls are overdoing their wanding. Did you do it, Jen? Like really? Not accident. Not accident. My, my wizardly powers are stronger than I thought. Oh, show me. Show me. Is it because I'm recording? Let's see. He's a wizard. Totally not working right now. I think this window is jinxed. All right, let's see it. A little more less failing. You gotta do your little hump at the bottom. Oh. Alright, me try it. Where's my spot here? Oh. Oh. I needed the light. I needed the light. Fun fact, we're getting ready to go on Gringotts, which requires you to get a locker, but they gave us a poster at Celebration of Harry Potter that is too long to fit in a locker. So I think we're gonna have to bend it. 45 minute wait, that's not too bad. Hello there, Grand Bank Room. You are so beautiful with all of our wonderful, wonderful goblins. We have a pretty serious camera setup over here for, I'm assuming, after Diagon Alley shuts down, they're gonna be doing something. But look at how well lit this B sign is. What a super fun day at 
Universal Orlando for the celebration of Harry Potter or Harry Potter celebration. Uh, we're back again tomorrow for more Harry Potter fun. So I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.